Hello and welcome to my channel on the hook crochet where we talk about wearable crochet style and today let's find out what's been on the hook. My whips are on the hook this week. I have been working um, on three different whips this week trying to finish them and I also finished my victory vest and Crystal will be modeling that in a few minutes because I haven't sewn in all the ends of the yarn. I have to take some photos for the pattern and so the pattern will be out hopefully the end of this week. Crystal's going to model it for us in just a few minutes. I hope you've had a wonderful, wonderful week and weekend. I uh, did not see you on Thursday. Last Monday I had already shot my video and edited it and then my computer completely crashed. It went to the black screen, you know, that says um, uh, crash dump at the bottom and I took it to the hospital and my little doctor computer guy said that it had died and so I had to put some new parts into my computer and now I've had to change over to a different Windows. Uh, I had to upgrade and so it was really difficult for me to learn that. I don't know why. I'm just used to the way things that, that are all the time and I don't have any time to work on computers. I don't really like them. I, I use them and they're a great tool but I don't really care how they work. And so I've uh, been working all week trying to uh, get used to my new computer. Um, I took out a mechanical hard drive and put in a solid state hard drive and then upgraded to Windows 10 and did some other things. So um, it's been a little bit of a learning curve this week. So I'm working on that. And so Thursday, I just, I just couldn't do anything with the video. And this morning, I'm going to give it a try. I haven't tried up uploading it or anything, so we'll see how it works. It probably, it'll probably it probably be okay. So I'm looking forward to being a positive experience this morning, and we'll see how it goes. Now, um, let me talk about what I'm wearing. I'm wearing Lydia's Lace, and a couple of you have asked about Lydia's Lace, and so I thought, you know what, I'll just wear it today and show you what it looks like. It's not difficult to make, of course, I always say that, but I'm really serious about that. I used Comfy Cotton Blend to make this one of my favorite yarns ever. It's just a very comfortable yarn. It's a perfect size. It's a size 3, but it's kind of a fat 3, so you get a lot more mileage out of it than a tiny little 3. Now, I've seen DK listed on some yarns, and I think, how could that be a DK? It's just, it seems very small. I know the 3 is probably a little bit bigger. But Comfy Cotton is in that category. It's a number three yarn. It comes in lots of colors, not sponsored. Um, I just bought some gray Comfy Cotton. I showed it on my video last time. I'm really partial to this yarn. I don't know why. It's just very comfortable too. When you make uh, a garment from it, it's very, very comfortable. In fact, the other Lydia's Lace that I made, uh, my number two uh, version of this, which I guess I can wear next time, it's a uh, multicolored Comfy Cotton and it's made a little bit differently so I, I may wear that and show it to you. I've also, um, I think I have a pattern out there for number two as well, but this is the first version that I came up with. It's Lydia's Lace. Very, very, very fun to make and it's also quite cool. It's got a round wide neck on it and it's also um, has a lot of holes in it at the top. They're very spacious and the air just goes right through them. And then I started the modesty panel right here so that you can't see through it and you can wear this without a tank top underneath if you use the right hook and the right yarn. Now you don't have to use comfy cotton, you can use any kind of yarn you like. But I suggest this for the first go around. It's easy to find, you can get it at Walmart, I believe, yeah, you can get it at Walmart and Joann's. You can get it everywhere. I'm not sure about Michael's. I do know Joann carries it. But it's a very lovely yarn and you'll like it. It comes in a cake form and um, it has a pull right in the middle. You just start off and keep going. It's a very nice yarn to use. So I'm going to model this just right over here and let you see what it looks this like. This is um, a full length view of the sweater. It's a mid hip design. You can make it of course as long as you want. But I made mine right about hip line and I think that on my number two version I made it a tiny bit longer. Um, I'll have to wear it next time and we'll take a look at it, but this is um, the modesty panel. You, I know you can't see through this. That's the reason I use the Comfy Cotton yarn. 
It just covers very well. It's big enough yarn so you can use a decent size hook with it and it doesn't take you forever to make a garment. Now this is the back. The back is about mid-hip length and uh, it's very comfortable, not hot at all. The sleeves were a chain out and I say in the pattern how many chains I used. You can use as many as you want. You can make the sleeves all the way down to the elbow if you want. It would be very beautiful that way. But I chose to make mine about mid upper arm and so it makes it very, very cool to wear on a hot day like this. It's in the 90s out here so I can be cool in my comfy cotton Lydia's lace. Now let's take a look at some whips that I'm working on. I know I said I wanted to finish each whip all the way to the end but I've been working on some different ways I work in the living room. Sometimes I work at my desk and every whip doesn't really lend itself to working here at the desk. So if I'm in the living room and I'm watching um, a show, I can crochet maybe all the way across a sweater or something, but if I'm trying to do decreases and increases, I'm usually at my desk so that I can keep track of what I'm doing. And you may find the same thing as well. If you're watching a show on TV or a YouTube, you can't really concentrate on what you're doing. So it's best to use that time for the, uh, the body of the sweater, uh, that's just a lot easier for me to do. You can take that advice if you want. But that's what I've been doing this weekend, this weekend, because I haven't had a computer the whole week. And I thought, well, I'm just going to work on some whips and catch up on some YouTube videos that I usually watch. Now, my first whip is the Chameleon um, crocheted top. And this is the yarn that I bought. It turns, this particular one turns purple in the sun. So if you go out in the sun, this yarn actually turns purple. It's, it's pure white right now. Look at that. It's just pure white. And the label shows you what color it's going to turn into. And they also have this in pink and yellow at Michael's. Both colors. I chose the purple just because I like purple and I thought I'd give it a try. I selected an eye hook for this particular project. It's a 5.5 millimeter. This is my clover. Love it, love it. It's one of my favorites. And then uh, I've started a top, and it's not going to be a very difficult um, endeavor. I think it's pretty simple because I only bought three balls of this, and I don't know why. I usually buy four of everything, but I bought three, and let's see how many yards are on this. 229, and I figured 700 yards would be about enough, and it may be. I don't know. This is a size three yarn. It is not a four. It's a three. And so I really should have bought four just so I could make the top how I wanted to. And I wanted to make it a kind of a boxy top, a little bit short. So I started this with just a basic stitch, nothing exciting. But since it's cotton, I just, this is 100% cotton. So I just wanted to make it uh, a very cool top, maybe a tank top or something like the America tank. I think that's where I was going with this. <laughs> but the problem with it is that I made it too wide. If you can see that, this is way too wide. For my side to side measurement, and I show you in the patterns how to do that, it's not difficult, but it's just a good way to measure yourself. And then you add ease to your sweater. But I measured, I needed 23 inches across on a sweater to make it just with a small amount of ease. If I'm short on yarn, I will do that. I will make just about a 24, maybe a 24 inch wide side to side measurement. And I made this 28 inches. What was I thinking? I don't know. I don't know. I may have been thinking I was going to make it really boxy and really short, but I'm not really wanting to do that right now. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to frog it all out and start over and I'm going to measure it at 23 inches and then I'll have um, plenty to make a sweater the way I want to. I, I don't like to be playing yarn chicken and I was really concerned I would need another ball and I don't go out a whole lot so I didn't really want to have to go all the way to Michael's which is a ways about 15 miles from my house and buy one ball of yarn and I'm trying not to buy a lot of yarn. I'm trying to calm down and not buy so much yarn. So I know I, I bought the comfy cotton last week and I understand that y'all can tell me that. <laughs> but this is this is some yarn that um, I just wanted to try because it was a novelty yarn. And to show you how it looks, I was going to step outside after I finished the top and let you see it turn to purple. So that'll be some kind of some fun thing that I can do with this. But I have to finish it first. So I'm going to frog this out. I'm not 
upset about it or anything. I'm just going to frog it out and I'm going to make it much less wide so that I'll have plenty of yarn to finish this. So that's my progress on the chameleon top and that may be what I call it. I don't know. I may just make the America tank. We'll see. So we'll see how that goes. My second whip is the beautiful U pink top and some of you have been asking me when are you coming out with this pattern love it love it i made it in the red and i've worn it many times on my videos i love the red top and uh, it's one where you, in which you chain out uh, on the arm just like this one and it's uh, not a difficult pattern it's just a very comfortable top i actually wore it yesterday to church with a black skirt and it was just so pretty i just this is some of the most comfortable fabric that I've ever made for summertime. It's just very squishy and very soft. And I am so sad that they have discontinued Beautiful You from Lion Brand. I don't even know if you can get it on eBay. I haven't tried to find it. I don't remember trying to find it. But uh, you might run across it somewhere. And if you do, it's a, it's a good buy. It's a very good buy. What I figure I'll probably need four skeins to finish this top. It has short sleeves. It's made just like the red Beautiful You. Uh, a very wide neckline, very little edging. So it's mostly just the fabric that you're making. And you could probably get away with four skeins of this if you can find it in one color. Um, I suggest you make it. It's a very nice uh, yarn to use. Now you can use another yarn. This is a size two. And I'll show you. I know people don't believe me, but this is a size two right there it says size two and it it's very easy to crochet with i found it to be very easy and i'm making it with an h hook h i'm making it with an h hook and that would be a 5.0 two sizes larger than it re recommends <laughs> but it's plenty big for me this is what the fabric looks like this is just half double crochet and it's got beautiful drape. Look at that. It's just got beautiful drape to it. So it hangs very nicely. And then I put a little extra along the bottom, a little decorative row. I think this might be a couple of rows. A decorative row, I think, at the bottom. And I will continue that around the front and maybe even um, around the neck. I don't know. Probably just around the bottom. I think that's what I decided last time I talked about this particular whip. So that is my second whip that I wanted to talk about today. The third whip I want to share with you today is made with Audine Wools and this is called Twinkle DA. There's a little bit of Stellina in this. It is a 80% merino wool, 10% cashmere, and then the rest of it is Stellina, 10%, and it's a little bit of a bling. You can see that right there. There's a little bit of a shiny thread running through there and I like it. I think it's really beautiful. I have five skeins of this so I have plenty to make a sweater and it's really kind of a summer sweater. Um, I'm going to maybe put sleeves down to the elbow with this one. It's, it has a uh, ribbing at the bottom. Very very pretty ribbing at the bottom and then it's very easy after that. It's um, made with a J hook so this Stellina is DK. This is a size 3 yarn. See, that's a pretty fat 3. It's a pretty good size. It's, it's big enough to uh, move right along when you're crocheting. Again, I'm using a J hook with this. This is how much I have left of my first skein. Quite a bit, actually. There's quite a bit there. And I've already moved up about 8 inches on the back or the front of my sweater. I haven't decided which. Now, this sweater I'm making by the Sea and Sky pattern that I put out, I don't know, maybe eight months ago, Sea and Sky. This is made with a fingering weight, but I've changed and I'm making this with a DK weight and a larger hook, so we'll see how that goes. But this is the first version. It's a blue, I have worn it a time or two on the show, it's a blue and white fingering weight yarn. Very, very pretty and one of my favorite sweaters because it is so comfortable. Now, the yarn has a lot to do with the comfort of a sweater. Obviously, you don't want a scratchy yarn. This is not the softest yarn I've ever used. I'm going with the uh, thought that I'm going to block this and maybe I can soften it up just a little bit. It's not rough or anything. It's just not nearly as soft as the yarn I use for this particular sweater. This is 
Audine wools, and I forget the exact kind of, uh, it's called Shine. Audine wools Shine, and they had some on the Knit Crate site for the longest. I don't know if they still do, but it's a fingering weight, very comfortable, and I've made two sweaters from that already. Now, this is not that. This is Audine wool. This is Twinkle DK, so it is a very beautiful yarn but it is not as soft as the other Audine wools that I used to make the original pattern but I'm going to try this it's got a little bit of a drape not too much it's not very drapey see I'm see I'm shaking it and it doesn't move that much it moves a little bit it moves a little bit so I'm going to continue with this I've, like I said I've, I've worked about this much this weekend I've, I've probably done 15 rows on it and I'm real excited about it now I'm getting close to uh, the neckline, you see, I'll show you. I'm going to make it about this long. So when I get here to the arms, I'm going to chain out for the sleeves. And then I'll start the neckline up there. I know that's not very easy to understand. Maybe next week I'll have more done on it. Maybe not. I'll have to see. But I'm working on this actively. I want to finish this because it's more of a summer sweater. And so is the Beautiful You sweater. That's more of a summer sweater. And also the Chameleon. It is a summer sweater as well. So I want to finish, I'd like to finish those three particular sweaters in the next few weeks so I can wear them all the way into the fall. Now Crystal's here and she's going to show us the beautiful new Victory Vest. I finally finished it. I really like it. It is, I'll step her back just a little bit so we can show everybody how it looks. I designed this so that you have to wear a tank top under it, but it's the plenty of room to be cool in this particular vest. This is crocheted with Cotton Fair. That's what it looks like. Cotton Fair is Premier Cotton Fair, and it's um, half and half, I think, acrylic. Yes, yeah, 52 cotton, 50, uh, 48 acrylic. So it's a very comfortable yarn. I've made lots of things out of Cotton Fair, really like it. I'm holding it together, or I held it together, with dotted line and this is how much I had left from one cake and this is how much I had left from the other cake. Now I was trying to make this red, white, and blue because the red on this dotted line is not sharp red and I've talked about that before it's more of a really really dark pink and I was hoping that it would look more red on my sweater but it does not so I'm just going with it I'm going to call it red, white, and blue but it's not as uh, loud or red as I'd like. Now the blue is very beautiful and Crystal's wearing a bright blue, royal blue uh, tank top underneath it. So you can see in the sleeve when you have your arm up here you can still see your tank top and but there's plenty of room in here for air and the stitches are far enough apart so it's not a hot sweater. But this is what it looks like in the back. It turned out really nice. I love the way the colors blended in the back and on the front as well because um, they're just uh, very soft, very muted stripes on this and that's what I like. You all know me well enough to know that I love muted stripes. Now I did a nice edging around the neckline. I started the neckline almost at my waist. It was probably about right here when I started the neckline because I was going to put a pretty good size edging on it so it's right about there is where I started the V right there that's where I started the V and then um, I continued on both sides like that working up both sides and then I sewed of course I sewed it together at the shoulder seam then I put the edging around the sleeve and I did some decreasing up here if you'll notice it doesn't stand straight out and it was doing that when I first made it and tried it on, it was like this. And I don't like it uh, when a sweater uh, extends out from the shoulder and then it's a sharp drop. I don't like that. So I use decreases to soften that edge. See how that's softened there? It just kind of lays down like it's supposed to. And this side, of course, it did the same way. The sleeves are very open. They're very, very open sleeves. And the tank top you wear into the... Uh, sweater is very important because it's going to show through and it's going to show in the sleeves and also at the neckline so uh, you pick a color that's in your yarn or something that coordinates with it and it looks really pretty because it adds another color 
to your victory vest. So I'm still calling it a victory vest because I'll be wearing this on Patriotic Day. The next one, I believe, is Veterans Day. There may be one between now and then. I don't know, but um, this is probably what I'll be wearing. And like I said, I haven't um, sewn the ends in. I've just got them tucked under here, and I haven't finished the pattern. So I'm going to try to get that done this week, and I'll get it out because I know a lot of you have been asking about the, the Victory Vest. It's a very comfortable vest, and you can make it out of anything you want. You could make it out of a bulky yarn, a bulky cotton, like a cotton number no. five Lion brand. I've made a top out of that. It was very, very cute and um, very comfortable as well. I think they've discontinued that. Every yarn that I try to use is discontinued just about, except for Comfy Cotton. Comfy Cotton is still around, <laughs> so you could use that as well. You could use a Comfy Cotton for this in like a red. That might be pretty, and then just wear a white tank under it and maybe edge it in some navy blue or not. You know, just wear it with some navy jeans, and it would look cute. But this is what it looks like. I hope you like it. It's uh, a little bit more... Um, involved with decreasing here and there but the instructions are going to be very easy i try to make them easy to read they're conversational and this is not sized you size this to yourself what i did was i had a side to side measurement and i added eight inches to it so um i don't know i should say 12 inches i added three 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 and three three times four is 12 so i added a total of 12 inches of ease that makes it very, very uh, comfortable to wear, and it's a little bit casual, a little bit slouchy because the armholes are so large. But I just thought that was a cute uh, look for this particular vest, a large v-neck and large sleeve opening. So I hope you like it. The pattern will be out again later this week, and what I'll do is I will send an email out to the community when it's available, and you can pop over to Etsy and use the special discount that I send to the community. So... If you're not in the community, be sure that you sign up. There's a link in the description box. Be sure to sign up for that. And that way you will receive the special discount. You can pop out there to Etsy and see if you like it. And if you do, it's way less than just buying it uh, full retail. So be sure you do that. I hope you like it. I do. I like it. I'll be wearing it on my next video probably. So you can see how it looks on me. But... Um, Crystal does a pretty good job of modeling this. So that's a look at my new victory vest. You know, I, I can imagine why knitters always knit all summer for fall because the summer goes by very quickly. I think we are only going to have maybe a month more, maybe a month and a half of very warm weather, and then it'll start to cool off a little bit, and you'll be reaching for your beautiful crocheted sweaters that you crocheted in the summertime. So I hopefully in that vein, I am giving away some yarn this week. This is yarn that uh, was in my stash. It was packed up in Ziploc bags and it's really nice. Coates and Clark and the colorway is linen. And this is a uh, size four yarn and each yarn ball is 50 gram. Each yarn ball is 50 grams. So this is what it looks like. It's called Eclipse, and this is Moda Dea, Moda Dea, or Moda Dea, I don't know how you pronounce that, but it's um, it's about $3 a skein, and each skein is about half as big as a regular skein of yarn, so there are two, four, six, seven, eight, there are eight balls of this, that's like getting four skeins of regular yarn, so uh, it being wool is quite lovely. This is 60% extra fine wool and 40% nylon, so it is very, very soft. It's smooth and soft. I really like it, and I thought I won't be making that because it's in the wrong color. It's the color linen, and linen is not my color. I wish it was, but this is more of a tan. It's a dark linen, it's not um, a light linen, so I'm going to give this away. There are two Ziploc bags of this particular yarn, and that will go to giveaway winner number one. Now, giveaway winner number two will win the Black, um, the black Premier Home. It's called Cotton Big Glitz, and it's a number four yarn. It's huge. I mean, this is a really, really big ball of yarn. It's heavy. There are 490 yards on each skein, and you'll get two skeins of this. I'm not going to make this up. 
it'll just sit in my stash. So I'm just going to give it away to somebody who can really use it and may do something with it. So that will go to giveaway winner number two. So let's turn the camera to the computer and find out who wins these two giveaway gifts. Here we are at the computer and let's find out how many comments we had with the word grand. And up here is the URL from the Monday last. <laughs> so we will find out how many YouTube comments had that particular word in there. 317. Great. So let's go over here and let's find out who wins the linen color wool yarn. Let's start. Here we go. And the winner is Marianne Van Dommelen. Marianne Van Dommelen. And there is the word grand in her comment. So Marianne, you have won beautiful linen wool yarn. So let's pick another winner. And this winner will receive the two huge balls of uh, the black and gold yarn. And her name is Drema Kazi. Drema Kazi, and here you are with your word grand. So Drema, you have won the two black skeins of yarn with the gold shimmer. And I hope y'all both enjoy your yarn. Congratulations. Congratulations to our two winners. They have won these two yarns, and I'll be shipping those out as soon as I receive your mailing address. So be sure you email me and send me your mailing address. Now, I want to show you a little bit of progress I've made on my diamond painting just really quick. Everybody's asking, when are you going to finish your beautiful garden diamond painting? And I'm going to finish it soon. Hopefully, I work on it every single day. And it's just taken me a lot of hours. And I'll tell you how many hours when I finish it. I'll, I'll add them all up and we'll see how many hours I actually put in on this diamond painting. But it's well worth it. It's quite gorgeous. So let's take a look at it. I'm going to lay it down on the floor and let y'all see the progress that I've made. Well, here I am showing you the progress I've made on my diamond painting. And as you can see, I've worked my way all the way to the top on the left side. This is exciting for me. And all these flowers I did um, probably in the last few days. I did all of this right here. Now, I have a little bit right here left to do, but I wanted to take off the cover paper so you could see it. In the big picture, let me come back here and you can see the whole thing. There it is. There we go. So it's really taking shape. It's quite gorgeous. I can't wait to get this up over my fireplace. So I just wanted to show you the progress I've made. I'm now working right over here and I'll probably do this square next and then I'll start on the middle three squares and I'll be finished. So I will show you my progress as soon as I have some more. So there we go. That's my diamond painting, Garden at Argentui by Monet. You've stuck with me this long because I want to do one more thing. I have not received any emails from the people who won the Crochet Surprise. And I'm not even going to say who it is because I've tried to get in touch with them. I've mentioned them two or three times and it's not happening. So this Crochet Surprise, which I tried to give away a couple of weeks ago, um, is going to be... Uh, redrawn and I have the computer up with the website that I used um, I think it was plain Jane number four and this is where I'm pulling from the same place I pulled from for the first go around on this so the keyword was plant and so I'm going to take the camera to the computer and we're going to pick another winner for this crochet surprise and this is the plant hanger it's crocheted it's quite lovely there's some patent grace beautiful yarn in here and a nice pattern so i will i'm going to redraw this and hopefully someone will win and send me their mailing address here we are at the computer this is the url for the video where we signed up for this particular giveaway and the keyword was plant so let's find out how many comments we had with that particular word and there were 310 comments. Wonderful. Let's scroll down and find out who wins the crochet surprise from that particular video. And it's called Halo One Baby Weaver. I love to eat fresh veggies from the garden. I haven't been able to plant anything this year. So there is the keyword plant. Halo One Baby Weaver. And you are the winner of the crochet surprise. Congratulations.
Well, we've had lots of giveaways today, and thank you all for watching. I hope that you subscribe to my channel if you like what you see. Also, like and share. Please share this video with someone who might enjoy watching. And if you like it, be sure to hit the, the like button as well, and that helps my ratings come up and more people can see our videos, and that way we can keep going with our video channel. I hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful week. Now, a little announcement I'd like to make. This summer I have released a video twice a week, all summer. I think I started in the spring and uh, that's a very grueling task and I love to do it. I love, love, love it. But sometimes other things get in the way like last week my computer crashed and I have uh, lots of other things on my plate right now besides all this beautiful YouTube uh, video projects. I have lots of things that I do. And I think that I'm going to take a break from the second video every week. I think I'm going to just put out one video every week and put everything in that video. I hope you enjoy it. I'm going to try that next week, starting on Monday, um, actually starting this Thursday. I will not be putting out a late week video for another reason. But anyway, next Monday, you'll see me again. I will release a video on Monday, and that will be the On the Hook Crochet video of the week. And we'll have our giveaways the same as we are now on Monday to Monday. So be sure you sign up for the giveaway for this coming week. And I had never even said what it was going to be. So I guess I should tell you what it's going to be. If you've stuck with me to the end of this video, you will see what I'm giving away next Monday. Next Monday, we're going to have a drawing for Moroccan Nights Yarn. And I have several colors of this. I'm going to start with the... Sultan colorway. This is a beautiful beautiful yarn and I can't see myself making anything with it right now So I'm going to give it away. I had started a, a Top and I wanted to show you this because this is what it looks like made up so I'm going to get this up here to the video camera and let you see what it looks like made up It is really pretty. I like it. This is just a I probably looks like I had double crochet just kind of a, a sample piece. So there it is. Really pretty. I like it. And I have three skeins of this. Each skein has 273 yards. So you'll have 600 plus 73 times 3, whatever that is. So you'll have over 700, maybe about 750 yards of this. This is the Sultan colorway of Moroccan Nights yarn. And I like it. It's really very um, versatile in the colors. The colorway has a lot of different colors in it. It's, um, it's kind of a brown and a uh, burgundy along with that. And then it moves into um, a little bit of gray. There's gray mixed in here. I just think it's pretty. I like it. Again, this will be the giveaway for next Monday. So if you will leave a comment in the comment section and write the word Africa, because that is where Morocco is. Africa, A-F-R-I-C-A. And if you'll put that in your comment, you'll be in line for the giveaway next Monday. I will leave this right here. I hope that you have a wonderful weekend. And thank you for sticking around to the end of my video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you've liked it, please like it and share it if you would. So join me next time to find out what's on the hook. <laughs>